Cori Bush's uh, commentary on the 4th of July uh, drew criticism from Jesse Waters as well, who had a really interesting historical take. Take a look at this. Congresswoman Bush said two things, that I, really dumb things. She says this land was stolen. This land wasn't stolen. We won this land on the battlefield and we bought it, right? We purchased Spain. I mean, we purchased Florida from Spain. We have the receipts. What do you want to give Florida back to Spain? How about the Seminole? Spain probably wouldn't Apaches take it. And the but what Navajo. about him, Geraldo? We won that territory on the battlefield. It was an ugly, brutal battle, but we won it. We're not just going to give everything back to the indigenous people of this country. That's just no no civilization. What are the Moors come into Spain but and you conquer the, the them beef, for 800 the, years? The beef Dead is people legit. just, oh, let's just give it back to Spain. <laughs> Like he sits in front of a camera on a stage and he has a suit on. So you think, oh, he's probably marginally intelligent. No, <laughs> he's not at all, Francesca. Well, what do you think about that argument? It wasn't stolen. They just killed people and took it or bought it from people who presumably were always there. I think that the Spanish have controlled it for 10,000 years. So that, that makes sense to me. What do you think, Francesca? Honestly, I I just think it's amazing that no other co-host like leaps across the table to strangle Jesse Waters. I mean, mostly just because it would be satisfying, but also because he's stupid. And you know who's got receipts? Let's let's see. You know who's got receipts when it comes to uh, the American uh, col the colonization of the Americas? Natives, Native Americans have receipts. They're called treaties and almost 400 of them have been broken in our yep. nation's history. So they got the receipts that said, yeah, you can have this land, you can't have all the land. We keep this land. And no, those those were destroyed, right? And yep. you don't win by conquest, man. Like you you negotiated. They let you stay here. Mm -hmm. And then you violated their trust. Yeah. It's well, I mean, that, that is an amazing and devastating point that is either beyond his actual knowledge about any of this, certainly beyond his interest. He's not interested in any of that. Um, I do want to add a point, though, that was made by uh, Marcy GTR on Twitch, who says, a lot of we talk, but when you bring up slave owners, that wasn't them, which is a great point. We won it in these battles, that was us. And then there was a period with slavery where, hey, hey, that doesn't have anything to do with me. That wasn't my family, how dare you say, and then it's we again at some point. Isn't that weird how that works out, What what's we? But anyway, she says it was stolen. And he says, no, it wasn't stolen, we killed people and took it. Well, she didn't mean that you shoplifted it. She didn't mean that you, you, you snuck it into a movie theater or something. That's not what stolen means. She mean you killed people and took it, which she says is not acceptable. Now you're pretending that it is. Let, let's, let's do a more recent example. So the McCloskeys uh, were worried that Black Lives Matter were coming for their house. Now they were, they were never under any damn danger. But according to Jesse Waters, if Black Lives Matter had stormed that house, had murdered the McCloskeys and then refused to leave, it wasn't stolen, they won it in battle. It was hard fought, but it was won. No, they don't actually believe this. This is just such a historical BS, yeah. she's saying, that because of the legacy of bloodshed, like look at Hawaii, man, if you want an example of it. All of this, that we need to understand that, the way it has affected different communities and different areas of the country ever since then, and perhaps do something now to right historic wrongs. His job is to pretend that the wrongs were actually right. So that all of these incredibly evil things that we would never stand for now were actually great moments in history. That's what he's there to do. He doesn't understand the history, but he understands his role in maintaining the system right now. Mm -hmm. And here's the other thing, like what's amazing about someone like Cori Bush is that she hasn't given up on this country, right? Why would she run for office? Why would she yeah. do her job day in and day out? If she looked back on our uh, awful history of colonialism and genocide and slavery and say, well, this country's doomed. That's not the line of the squad, that's not the line of progressives. We don't look back and say, well, because we've been terrible, this country will always be terrible. No, instead she's saying, I'm gonna work to make sure this country lives up to the good parts of the Declaration of Independence and the good parts of our constitution. I'm gonna make sure that we make a more perfect union, right? Like, And, and that is 
very fundamentally different than the militias storming the Capitol building trying to overturn a democratic election. That is fundamentally yeah. different than militias and, and crazies training against Sharia law in the backwoods of Idaho. All right, these are people highly invested in the political process, highly invested in doing the work. They're not sitting in a studio whining all day long. Yeah. So I who's actually more American? Who's actually working for real change? It's Cori Bush. Mm -hmm. No, she's entitled. She's got a paycheck. Jesus. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.